This week's Soccer News Recap brings a mix of thrilling action and community-focused initiatives. Welcome to your favorite online soccer show, Atlanta Soccer. News Weekly Report, let's start the week on a good note as Georgia Southern ended their two-game losing streak with a thrilling 2-1 win over South Alabama on Friday at Bo Pitts Field, marking just their second victory over the Jaguars and their first since 1996. Senior Ansley Crenshaw opened the scoring for the Eagles in the fifth minute, but South Alabama equalized in the 59th minute with a rebound goal. Georgia Southern found the game winner in the 70th minute when Smith Cathy capitalized on a loose ball in the box for her seventh goal of the season. Goalkeeper Katie Oakley was a standout with eight saves, helping the Eagles defend their narrow lead to secure a much-needed conference win ahead of their rivalry match with Georgia State. On Tuesday, in a high-stakes match on Decision Day, Atlanta United secured a 2-1 road victory over Orlando City SC, clinching the final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference and leaping from 12th to 9th place. Goals from Saba Lobyanidza and a solid backline effort set the tone early, defeating an Orlando team that had won six of their last seven games. Interim head coach Rob Valentino, who has guided the team through a challenging season, earned recognition alongside Guzan and Lobjanica on the MLS team of the match day. Atlanta's determination defied the odds, with one expert predicting less than a 1% chance of victory. Valentino praised the team's resilience, while center back Derek Williams credited Valentino's steady leadership. Their efforts were reinforced by wins from Charlotte FC and FC Cincinnati, which helped pave the way to Atlanta's playoff berth. With a playoff spot now secure, Atlanta will take on CF Montreal in the Eastern Conference wildcard game on October 22nd. Buoyed by momentum and a fighting spirit, Atlanta United's postseason journey is just beginning. On Wednesday, Atlanta United clinched a thrilling win over CF Montreal in the MLS Cup Playoffs Eastern Conference wildcard game, advancing after a 5-4 penalty shootout victory at Stad Saputo. The match finished 2-2 in regulation, with Atlanta striking first as Brooks Lennon and Stian Gregerson scored headers in the first half, building a two-goal lead. Former Atlanta star Joseph Martinez led Montreal's comeback, scoring once and converting a penalty in the 89th minute to level the score. With no extra time, the match moved directly to penalties, where Atlanta kept their cool, netting all five shots, while Brad Goussaint's save on Tom Pierce's attempt sealed the win. The victory propels Atlanta into the Round 1 Best of 3 series against top-seeded Inter Miami, with Game 1 set for October. 25. Riding a three-game winning streak, Atlanta heads into the matchup with confidence. Bolstered by interim head coach Rob Valentino's praise for their resilience and fighting spirit. On Thursday, the Georgia Southern Eagles fell 4-1 to the number 4-ranked Marshall on Wednesday night, unable to withstand Marshall's strong offensive push after taking an early lead. Kevin Pierre put the Eagles up 1-0 in the 15th minute, marking his first goal of the season off a setup by Ryan Holmes. However, Marshall equalized just 10 minutes later with a penalty kick from Rai Pinto after a handball. Before halftime, Dos Santos scored to give Marshall a 2-1 advantage. In the second half, Marshall continued to dominate, netting two additional goals to secure the win. The Eagles struggled to generate offense, managing only three shots to Marshall's 12. Georgia Southern, now 5-4-4 overall, will aim for a comeback as they host UCF this Sunday at Bopitz Field. Lastly on this week's report, Georgia State women's soccer dominated ULM with a 4-0 victory on Friday, October 18th at the GSU Soccer Complex. Bree Barley was in exceptional form, recording a hat trick with goals in the 19th, 24th, and 51st minutes, and Sunia Tucker added a fourth goal in the 61st minute. Barley received assists from Elena Diaz and Emily Glenn, and she set up Tucker's goal to complete her standout performance. Goalkeeper Jada Foos made seven saves, earning her 21st career shutout, placing her one shy of the program's all-time record. The Panthers' solid defense held strong against 18 shots from ULM, and Barley's hat trick tied the school record for most goals in a single game. It's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a single soccer update. Make it a habit to watch out weekly report and soccer stories 
Post it on our website at https chachashatlantasoccer.news. Until next time, adios.